Sophia. Welcome to the first episode of Weekly Connection News. This week, I will bring you two amazing inspirational stories that show that anything is possible with the advances of scientific technology. Have you ever heard of a monkey that knows how to play video games and a kid inventor at just one the Times Magazine's first kid of the year? Now, let's get started. Our first story is about Pedro the monkey, who learned how to play video games using only his mind with Neuralink. Neuralink is owned by Elon Musk. First, the monkey plays with a joystick. When it plays correctly, it gets rewarded with a banana smoothie. Here's how it works. If Pedro thinks about going up, the Neuralink link transfers the brain signals to the body parts, and the arm goes up moving the joystick. Secondly, the two devices in Pager's head would have threads, and each of the threads would have electrodes to sense the neurons in the brain. This technological development hopes to be successful with paralyzed people in the near future. Our second story is about Jaitin Jali Rao. Jaitin Jelly Rao is an avid inventor from STEM School Highlands Ranch in Dope Glass County, Colorado. Although she's still at school age, she's used scientific creativity to address many real world problems. Since Jaitin Jelly was in third grade, she has made it a priority to tackle big social causes with her talents. It was then that she learned about lead polluted water in Flint, Michigan, and the terrible impact it has on children's health. After researching how the water was contaminated, she began designing a device called Tetris that attaches to a mobile phone and can immediately detect lead in water. She is continuing to test the device with the Denver Water Facility and is hoping it will be ready to be used publicly in 2022. Jaitin Jali's love of real-world problem-solving did not end there. However, since she invented the Tetris, Jaitin Jali also invented Kindly, an app to help prevent cyberbullying, and iPhone the early warning system to catch drug addiction on young adults. Building on her experience, the giant Jolly now wants to inspire other kids to use science and technology to solve big problems. I don't look like your typical scientist. Everything I see on TV is that it's an older, usually white man as a scientist, she told Times. My goal has really shifted, not only from creating my own devices to solve the world's problems, but inspiring others to do the same as well. Because from personal experience, it's not easy when you don't see anyone else like you. So I really want to put that message. If I can do it, you can do it, and anyone can do it. Her amazing accomplishments and spirit were recognized when she was recently selected as Times Magazine's first ever Kid of the Year in 2020. As you can see, with the growing science plus the creative passion of many young people, the quality of life will be better and better. If one of you is a true science geek, go ahead with your projects and I'll be waiting to talk about you. Stay tuned and keep creating great stories for yourself. You may find yourself changing the world for the better. I'm Sophia and this is the Weekly Connection News.